the pallets of merchandise to the pallet storage area. Miles and miles of racks, 50 feet tall, 600 feet long. Three massive cranes place the pallets in these racks for temporary parking. Though some pallets are stored here, most newly received components continue on to receiving inspection as soon as an opening is created. Elevators hoist the cubes of merchandise to receiving inspection, strategically located directly above the receiving docks. A transfer cart moves the merchandise to one of 22 inspection stations, 11 stations on either side of this conveyor. Here, receiving inspectors, wearing electrostatic discharge smocks, carefully remove components from the cubes and place them into totes. Again, likes with likes, one product type per tote, all within the same date code range, and always the same country of origin. Once a tote is full or complete, it moves along the conveyor to the OPS storage area, the ultimate parking destination. The totes are stored here in these 50 by 600 foot racks we mentioned earlier. Yes, the cranes, my favorite part of the operation. Performed in complete darkness because it's entirely computerized, completely automated, no need for humans. A customer order comes in, one of my cranes locates and takes hold of the precise tote according to my instructions. I tell the cranes where to store the merchandise, when to retrieve it, and where to deliver it. It's a technological revolution and computer programming breakthrough, just like me, of course. I employ 23 tote picking cranes plus three pallet picking cranes. Should there ever be an unfortunate malfunction, I shrewdly assign additional product close to the floor where humans can reach it. Oh well, we can't all be supercomputers now, can we? The product totes are then passed to